Good evening. Hello. Hello, Rossi. Hello, Hilmar. Hello, Francisco. Francisco, please write your complete name, please. Good, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hilmar. Hello, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, Francisco. Can you please? Write your full name. Puede escribir su nombre completo. Yes, teacher. Ahí en el donde dice Francisco. Tiene que okay. decir Juan Francisco López. Good evening, okay. David. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Hector. Good evening. Oh my goodness, it's eight o'clock. It's time for the class. Okay. So today, this evening, we're going to have video conference number seven. Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me what day is today? What day is today? Today is Tuesday. 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 Uh -huh. Please say Tuesday. Tuesday, November 23rd, November 23rd, okay, 2021, 2021 or 2021, okay, so I'm going to share, oh, first, happy attendance, okay, remember to say present or here or presente, okay, so let's begin with Alexander Presa. Uh, what about Carlos Antonio Gonzalez? Carlos Jaime Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodriguez. Teacher. What is it? Yeah, I don't see her. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Daniela. Good evening. Okay, Daniela, eh, Edwin Elias Ramirez Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Gerson Tobar. Present teacher. Sorry, my. <laughs> You had problems with your microphone. Don't worry. Hilmar Alexander Alvarado Lobo. Present teacher. Okay. Then we have Hector Alfredo Marroquín Miranda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Irving Osmin Rodriguez. Present teacher. Hmm. Okay, Irving. Um, then we have um, Ismael Isaac Aguilar. Okay. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Yeah. Eh, Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alfredo. Eh, let me see. Luis, Arron, Luis Alonso Carrillo Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Merci Damaris Molina Guevara. Rosy Anabel Chávez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Rosy. Eh, Silvia Janet Carrillo. Present teacher. Okay. 
Verónica, Susana Romero. Present teacher, aquí estoy. <ríe> ya, ahí consigo. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Present teacher. Ok. And we have David Hernandez. David Hernandez. He wrote to me in the chat. He's going to be oyente this evening. Okay, thank you so much. Now, let's start the class. Class number? This is class number? Seven. Seven. Exactly. Seven. Class number seven, video conference number seven. Mm -hmm. So, let me show you the activities that I have prepared for you. We are going to continue with the topic that we uh, began yesterday. Simple present, affirmative and negative, but we are also going to learn more vocabulary. The vocabulary will be related to daily routines, okay? Daily routines. So in the agenda, we have the following activities. I need a volunteer to read the activities. Only one volunteer. To read activity one. Okay, Michelle, thank you. Activity one, review of previous class. Activity two, warm up. My daily routine. Activity three, conversation practice. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> activity four. <laughs> activity four, how do you say person singular? Activity five, talking about my routine. Okay. Activity six, wrap up. Wrap up, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. So, yes, thank you, Michelle, good reading. Okay, let me know if you did the homework. Did you do your homework, guys? No yet. <gasps> My goodness. Yes, okay, wait, yes. please in the chat, write to me the, the correct order of the sentence, okay? Let's check in the chat. Okay, teacher. Yes. Remember the structure. Do you remember the structure of, of the sentences? Remember, first is subject plus the verb plus the complement. Okay? Subject, verb, complement. So in that way, what would be the first or what would be the, the subject of this first sentence, of sentence number one? We have keep the companies track financial accounts in off. Mm -hmm. Sería they. Muy bien, Michelle. Very good. They keep track of financial accounts of companies porque ahí dice que compa of two times or twice mm -hmm. good what about number two mm -hmm. 
We studied this one in the class yesterday. We don't advertise the company on the internet, okay? In the chat via Zoom, guys. <laughs> okay, Michelle, I was going to say that the apostrophe was missing. Okay, number three. I, we start with I. What is next? I feel a little bit tired today, guys. So help me, please talk to me. <laughs> Uh, they keep track of financial and consumer companies. They keep track. Vamos a ver Luis Alonso. They keep track of financial accounts of companies. Yeah. I take notes in the meetings every day. Okay, good. I take notes in the meetings every day. Mm -hmm. And number four. What, how do I start number four? ¿Cómo empiezo la número cuatro? Okay, Alfredo, I take notes in the meetings every day. Yeah, Carlos y Mauricio contestan el teléfono de la recepción. Ok, Carlos y Mauricio en su iPhone a la recepción. Ajá. Ahí no. ya te va a correr como es. Ahí no, 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 no le da pena a nadie. Ok, very good, Luis. Good, so we already have the four sentences, right? ¿Quién me dice la primera? To make a review and to check your pronunciation. You can raise your hand. Take it, wrap. Company of financial account. Okay, they keep track. They keep track of financial accounts of companies. Okay, thank you, Michael. Number two, another person. Rosie? Uh, we bounce other today company of internet. Okay, excellent. We don't advertise the company on the internet. Elias, number three. We don't hear you, Elias. You have you, your microphone off. I take every day note in the meetings. Okay, almost. I take notes in the meetings every day. Every day is, is the last thing to mention, is the compliment, okay? 
And the last one, Luis Alonso Carrillo Vasquez. Luis Carrillo, do you have it? Luis. Number four. I think he, okay, Luis, there you go. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Sería, eh, perdón, que chica mía. Sería, Carlos y Mauricio, Ansel Hong, Andy Reception. The Reception, yeah, ah, you were writing the in the chat. Yes. Carlos and Mauricio answer from the reception. Okay, thank you. Now, guys, in the next activity, we have activities I do on weekends and activities I don't do on weekends. Weekends. Weekends are Saturday and Sunday. In our country, weekends are Sábado y Domingo, fin de semana. The activities we usually do on weekends are different from the ones we do every day from Monday to Friday, right? Or do you do different activities on weekends or the same from Monday to Friday? Different? Different. Or the yes, same? Yes, different. Different it's activities. Different. Okay, for example, in my case, activities I do on weekends. On Saturday, I visit my family or my boyfriend or my boyfriend's family. Uh, we eat pupusas or we make pupusas in the family with my mom. Or sometimes my brother cooks for the family. My brother makes tacos or wings, chicken wings chicken wings okay because he likes cooking or he makes choripanes okay that's what he can make <laughs> on week we all the family or we go to visit the grandmother mm, i sleep or i take naps in the afternoon i had the meetings from the congregation because I am Jehovah's Witness. So different activities, right? Different activities on weekends. I don't have a dog, so I don't wash the dog, but my brother has a dog and he washes the dog. I don't like washing the dog. <laughs> I feed the cat. I feed the cat. Missy. Missy, I feed the Missy, the cat. Feed yes. es alimentar. Yes, I feed the puede, cat. Puede, puede escribirlo. Of course. Or I can spell it. F E E D. Okay. Okay. Feed. F E E D. I. Okay. F E E D. F E E D. Yes. Thank you. Oh, on weekends, I also clean the house. I also clean the garden. I wash my clothes. Okay, different the things, car. right? But I don't work. I don't work on weekends. Yeah. I used to work on Saturdays. But yeah, not anymore. I'm washing the car. Oh, yes, you wash the car, okay? So please make brainstorm ideas about activity, five activities you do only on weekends. Only on weekends, okay? Solo del fin de semana. Activities, five activities I do on weekends and five activities I don't do on weekends, okay? For example, I don't take a shower. I don't know, right? I take a shower, but maybe you don't take showers on weekends. 
Algunos no se bañan, ¿sabes? <risa> no, just kidding, just kidding. I'm going to write in the chat some, some uh, examples, okay? Activities I do. Uh, I take naps, que es tomo siestas. I take naps in the afternoon. I visit my family. I see my boyfriend. Um, I eat out, que es comer afuera. I eat out, or I eat pupusas, or tacos, okay? or what, whatever my brother makes. And um, what else? Mm, I clean the house. In the garden. And if there is water, I wash my clothes. Okay, activities I don't do on weekends. Okay, I don't work. I don't wash the dog because I don't like it. Well, my brother does it. I don't go to school. Okay. I don't check exams on weekends. Okay. Excellent. You watch movies with the family. You work Saturday until noon. Okay, great. Okay. I don't prefer classes on weekends. Oh, you eat leg soup, sopa de pata. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sopa de patatús. My mom made sopa de patatús on weekends sometimes, and I help her. I uh, play with my son. Vaya, right. entonces, Hilma, aquí este solo no va a poner el am, um, solo sería I play with my son. Okay. okay. I play with my son. Mm -hmm. I play with my son, okay? I don't watch Netflix. <laughs> okay. I don't watch Trato Hecho. Michelle plays with her nephews. <laughs> Sometimes I play with my niece, mi sobrina, my niece. Okay, good. I relax. I don't get a stop in traffic. Oh, you don't visit your sister. Very good, Daniela. Excellent. You do your homework. <laughs> oh, yes. It's the best thing you can do on weekends. <laughs> or practice. Or review your classes on weekends.
Oh, Veronica watch Netflix. Oh yes, you wash your clothes. Okay, in my case, I also, I attend meetings in my congregation, or you can say I go to church, right? But I attend meetings in my congregation via Zoom. Mm -hmm. Oh, Veronica, good, you buy in the market. Yes, it's cheaper, it's cheaper to buy in the market. Es más barato. <laughs> you don't visit your grandmother, Luis? Um, okay, somebody says, I don't the park with my children. ¿Qué quería decir, Héctor? I don't go to the park with my children. No voy al parque. Sería, no, I don't, no, I don't no, go. Voy al parque. Voy al parque. Sí, sí, voy al parque. Ok, I go, to the, I go to the park with my I children. I go to the park. Ah, va, un momento, let's go. I go to the park with my children. Ok, Alfredo va a la misa. I go to the Holy Mass. Ok, Irving, I help my nephew with his homework. Ok, yeah, sometimes I have to help my niece with, his, with her English homework. But not anymore because they already finished classes. They already finished school. Um, I sometimes go to the beach with my family. Nice, Elias. Invite us. Veronica, I eat a lot. <laughs> On weekends, you have permission. Daniel, I visit the church. Okay. Nice. Good ideas. Okay, now to practice pronunciation, I'm going to send you to rooms, to the break rooms. And so... You uh, ask an answer, for example, what do you do on weekends? And what don't you do on weekends? What don't you do on weekends, okay? So please interact, talk to your classmates, practice, get to know better your classmates, Okay. <laughs> Hilmar says, I don't go out. I don't go out. Así sería, Hilmar. I don't go out. Solo así. I don't okay, go out. You. I don't go out. No salgo. O I stay home. Me quedo en okay. casa. Oh, you, on weekends, I usually stay up late. Me quedo me, me voy a dormir tarde. Ahí está. Me quedo despierta hasta tarde. I stay up late. Well, every day too, because I have to teach until 10 10. <laughs> but it's working. I stay up late. Okay? So let's go to the break rooms. One, two, three. What we will do in groups? I'm sorry. Aha, uh -huh. you have to uh, answer the ask and answer questions about the weekends. What do you, I uh, run, yeah, in the chat. What do you do on weekends? What don't you do on weekends? Okay. Ya okay. lo escribieron, ahora pronounce it. Speak. Okay, speak. Jessica.
pregunta. What do you do the weekend? Serían dos, oh. ¿qué es lo que no haces también? Yes, two questions. What do you do on weekends? What don't you do on weekends? No sé si alguien pregunta. En la primera me faltó escribir la U. Sí, en en you. En you. Sí. Vale, entonces. ¿Quieres pregúnteme a mí? Empiezo. Ok, Elias. What do you do on weekends? Uh, I work Saturday until noon. I eat leu soap. Uh, I take a nap. Sometimes I go to the beach with my family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y la otra. I drink the beer. Oh, you drink beers on weekends. <laughs> esa, esa con soap. With the soup. Okay, with the soup. Sería, I drink the beers in the, in the soap. No, you drink beers with the soup. With the soup. Mm. Yes. Okay. Elias, what don't you do on weekends? Creo que... Ah, ya terminé, creo yo. Pues sí, no, no se empezó a grabar. Ah, it, bueno. It's because the teacher is here. <laughs> <laughs> este, en ese caso, quiero ver... Ah, también voy a la iglesia, entonces I got sería... the church. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Disculpe. I go to church. I go I to church. Go to I church. go to church. Eh, ¿Y de ahí qué más hago? Quiero ver. No, solo tarea paso. <ríe> Estoy haciendo tarea paso la fiesta de hermano. Eh, eh. Y así como en tareas, eh, teacher, ¿cómo sería? Eh, I. I. I, uh, I do homework. I do homework. I do homework. 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 I do homework. homework. I lo puse en el chat. I do homework. Oh. Yeah. I do homework. Well, y esos son quizás las únicas cuatro que todos los fines de semana. Bueno, Héctor, entonces tú pregúntame a mí lo de. You ask me. Ajá, you ask me. You bueno. ask me, Héctor. Ajá. Okay. Uh, usted comenzó así: how do, how do you do? Y dijo otra expresión después de eso. Weekend. Weekend. What, how, what? How, how do you, what no, do, what, you do? What do you do on you weekend? Do weekend? What do you do a weekend? On weekend. Excellent. How, how we, Brother, to, to brother, what the up oh, visit, visit my brother, you this brother. Is my brother, uh huh. Okay, hey, nice to meet you, Luis. Oh, nice to meet you. I like in the working con in the practice. En la práctica, práctica, poco a poco. <laughs> Did you finish? A little, a little. Okay. A little. Did you finish? I'll finish. Yes or not yet? Eh, todavía en algunas. No, ya terminaron o todavía les falta? Falta, falta. Okay, una, not una. yet. Not yet. No, yet. Yet. Uh, no, no yet. yet. Todavía no. Okay. Continue, please. Continue. Continue. Y ahora 
Okay, Michelle and Sylvia. Did you finish? Have a question. Have okay. A question. Eh, ¿Verdad que teníamos que hacer el de la actividad I do weekend y I don't weekend? Ajá, what, ajá, I do, what I do on weekends and what I don't do on weekends. Lo, ah, que, lo hago, que hacíamos en la... Lo que, lo que hago en no la semana y lo que no hago. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, eso teníamos, esa pequeña duda. ¿Y qué hicieron? ¿Quién ha hecho? Eh, Yo solo hice lo... Lo que hace, what you do. Ajá, y yo, yo solo sí, hice lo que hago. Le falta lo que no hace, what you don't do. Yo solo tengo tres del I don't, de lo que no hago. Ok, can you tell me what you don't do on weekends, please? Okay. Eh, I don't go out. I don't? I don't go out. Go out. I don't go out. I don't work on Sunday. Good. I don't bat on make you. Can you repeat, please? I don't bat or put, no sé cómo se dice, on make you. No me maquillo. Oh, I don't make up. Interesting, you don't make up. <laughs> okay. Solo cuando descanso. Okay, I don't make up. Make. Mm -hmm. I don't make up. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, when you stay home, you uh, you feel like, oh, no, I don't want to make up. <laughs> Good. Okay, Silvia, try to finish your ideas with your ideas. Um, yo solo tengo eh, lo que hago que sería I take a nap I, ok, I take a nap take a nap I clean my house uh -huh. I go to the market oh, good I okay. watch TV you watch TV y de las que no hago, solo he hecho dos ahorita que son I do not go in the work. You don't go to work. Uh -huh. y I do. Do you not go to the party? Eh, a una fiesta. I don't go to a party. I don't. Go, no, go. No, sería I don't. I don't. Go. To the party. Mm -hmm. I don't go to the party. Okay. Good job. Continue, please. Okay. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Did you finish practicing? Hello. With Irving and Harrison? Yes, we did. I'm late, but uh, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Okay, so let's go back to the previous, the main room.
Okay. Is everybody here now? Yeah, I can see. Good. I already sent one link. I sent one link uh, via WhatsApp and also here via Zoom. And this is going to be the warm up. Uh, in this interactive exercise, it's about daily routines. Okay. So let me show you. Let me show you the exercise. Okay, give me a second, I had a problem. Okay, please go to the link and we are going to do the exercise about daily routines. Uh -huh. You have the instruction is to match the pictograms or the or the picture uh -huh, with the routines with arrows. Arrows some flechas. Okay. Aaron. Can you see the exercise? Vale, lo van a hacer ustedes en su, en su dispositivo. Okay, you have to match the picture or the pictogram with the routine. For example, I wash my hands. I wash my hands. Okay. I walk okay. with my dog. Okay. Some shower. Uh -huh. Oh, I have a shower, yes. I have a shower. Oh, I have breakfast. I have lunch. Um, I have dinner. I play with my friends. I comb my I comb my hair. I make my bed. Hago mi cama. Ordeno mi cama. I wake up. I get dressed. Mm, the other one, I clean the table. Oh, this one. I clean the table. Okay. okay. I play with my toys. I watch television, I play video games, I get up, I read books, I brush my teeth, I go to school, I sleep, I lay the table, o pongo la mesa, I do my homework. Okay. And you finish. When you finish, you do check answers or comprobar mis respuestas. One minute. And that's it. Good job, Alfredo, okay? Okay, you need to have 10 out of 10. You need to have 10, okay? Match the pictures. Y sería buena idea que si alguna es vocabulario nuevo para usted, you write in your notebook, okay? You write a new, the new vocabulary. So please repeat after me. I wash my hands. I wash my hands. I walk with my dog. I walk, walk with my dog. dog. I make my bed. I make my I make my bed. Yes, I clean the table. I clean the table. I clean the table. 
I comb my hair. I comb my hair. Comb yes. my hair. Yes. I play with my friends. I played with I my play friends. With my friend. mm -hmm. I get dressed. I, I get dressed. Ajá, uh -huh, me visto. I get dressed. Mm -hmm. I wake up. I wake up. I wake up. Yes. Wake up. I have a shower. I have, I have a, shower. a shower. Yes. <laughs> I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Ajá, que es desayuno. I have lunch. Almuerzo. I have lunch. I have dinner. Same. I have dinner. Mm -hmm. I read books. I read, I read books. books. I play with my toys. I play with my toys. I play with my toys. I get up. I get I up. Get up. I get up. Me levanto. Porque yeah. una cosa es despertarse y otra cosa es levantarse, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, one thing is wake up. Yeah, you can wake up at 5 a.m. But you get up maybe it's at hard. 6. It's hard <laughs> too. It's hard to get up. Yeah. Especially if the weather is fresh, right? Like in this season, I love November and December because it's fresh and cold and breezy, right? Nice. I play video games. I play video games. I watch television. Watch television. I watch television. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Yes, with Colgate or with Oral B. I don't know what you use. <laughs> I go to school. I go to I the go school. school. I do my homework. I do I my homework. Mm -hmm. I lay the table. I lay the I table. Lay the table. I, lay I lay the table. table. Good. Very good, guys. I can see that you have been working, Mr. Pinto, Mr. Tejada, eh, Mrs. Ardon, or Mrs. Rodriguez, sorry, Michelle, Francisco. Okay, Mr. Lopez. Thank you so much. Did you like the activity? Yes, yes, I like it. Okay, good. So let's continue with the rest of the class. Um, now guys, after this warm up, now you have to think a little bit uh, about your daily routine, okay? Vamos a omitir la pregunta, what do you do on weekends? Porque ya la hicimos, pero si vamos a preguntar, what is your daily routine? ¿Cuál es su rutina diaria? From Monday to Friday, de, de lunes a viernes, from Monday to Friday. For example, I wake up at 6 a.m. No la voy a poner todo, pero sí lo más importante, ¿ok? I wake up at 6 a.m. I upload the video conference on YouTube. I take a shower. Um, aquí puedo poner la hora. For example, I take a shower at... 7.30. Well, actually, I wake up at 6 a.m., but I get up at 6.30. <laughs> I stay in bed for a while. <laughs> yes, it's difficult to get up sometimes for me. I get dressed, I make my breakfast, and I start work at 8.30. Thirty a.m. Okay. Good. So now you are going to ask your classmate about what is your daily routine. Le van a preguntar a su compañero, what is your daily routine? Okay. Ya vimos algunos. What is your daily? Uh -huh. Repeat after me. What is your daily routine? What is, what is your daily routine? Yes. What is your daily routine? Very good. Mm -hmm. Good pronunciation. Yes. What is your daily routine? ¿Cuál es tu rutina diaria? 
from Monday to Friday. Lo que hace de lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? Porque ya vimos que weekends different. Good. So let's, I'm going to uh, send you to the breakout rooms and practice. What is your daily routine? Okay, so you go to the breakout rooms and you practice with your classmate, okay? What is your daily routine? Okay. Jessica. Routine. Routine, correcto. Rutina. Daily routine. Routine. What is your okay. daily routine? What, what, what is your daily routine? Ah, yes. What is your, your in routine? What is your daily routine? What, what is your daily ah. routine? What is your daily routine? Your day. In routine. What is your routine? Mm -hmm. What is your day in routine? Exactly. Okay. Uh, is working? Okay. Primero tiene que decir a qué hora se levanta o se despierta, a qué hora se toma el bus. Uh -huh. I wake, oh, a qué hora I uh -huh. wake up at 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 uh, 5 a.m. Oh. a.m. Levanto a las 6:30 sería 6:30. 6:30. Mhm. I wake up at 6.30 or I get up at 6.30. Okay, 6.30. Yes. Okay. Um, sh shower? I take a shower. I take a shower. Um... Luego, vestirse o ajá, I get, la ropa. Ajá, I get dressed. I get dressed. Mm -hmm. I get dressed. I get dressed. ¿Cómo se red. escribe? Red. Red, red. I get dressed. Ahí red. se los mandé ya. I get dressed. Ok. Yeah, I, I, I sure que es, dicho. I sure. I take a shower. Uh -huh. Dress. Me baño. Mm -hmm. Dressed. Still saying it again. Desayunar sería I get. I have breakfast. 
I had breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. I had breakfast. Luego, eh, abordar el, el autobús. I take a bus. Uh, I take a bus. Mm -hmm. A bus, bus, solo es bus. Yes, I, I take, take a, bus. a bus. Oh, I take the bus. B U S, I take the bus. A bus. I get, I get a bus. A bus. I get a bus. I get a bus. I get a bus. Luego llego al trabajo sería I arrive work. At. I arrive. Ajá, uh -huh. I arrive to work at y luego pone la hora. Que work es trabajo, Llego al trabajo. I arrive to work at. Uh, o también puede ser empiezo work. a trabajar a las. A las. Ajá, uh -huh. I start. Work, empiezo a trabajar at. I start work at. I start work at. Ajá, luego puede ser I have lunch. Voy a almorzar. I have lunch. And then sería I, luego I finish work at. ¿A qué hora está, termina de trabajar? ¿A qué hora está a su casa? Go home at. I go home. Mm -hmm. I go home. At. I go home. It or at? At. At. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué se dice at si la A no suena E? Se, 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 suena, se pronuncia con E. 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 Sí, hay uh -huh. varias, hay varias este, formas de pronunciar. Uh -huh. de, hecho, de hecho, la U se puede pronunciar a veces como A y a veces como U y a veces quizás como O. Entonces, las vocales en inglés son diferentes a las vocales en español, porque en español uh -huh. son tal y, y como se ven A, E, I, O, U, pero en inglés pueden, se pueden pronunciar de diversas maneras. En este caso okay. es A. Uh -huh. Ok. En este caso ellas tienen como diferente tipo de fonología, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. Y creo que es lo que lo confunde uno más, ¿verdad? <risa> es una cuestión de, de que se va uno a, a, va aprendiendo y adaptándose al idioma. Sí, hay otros idiomas todavía más complicados como el francés. Es muy complicado sí. todavía, teacher. Es muy complicado, sí. Ok, ah, in my case, I feel, I think it's more complicated. Yo pienso eso, vea. Yeah. In my opinion. <laughs> I think English is easy. No, I know. It's complication. No, it is not. It is not complicated. <laughs> it's easy. <sighs> It's easy and nice. <laughs> well. Hello, Alex. Is Carlos there with you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Oh, Carlos. Two Carlos. Two Carlos. Yes. Um. They are practicing what is your daily routine? What is your daily routine? Can you tell me, Alex, what is your daily routine from Monday to Friday? Uh, working. Okay, I and work. Uh -huh. I work. Look at it. Uh -huh. I go to the gym. Three days for the week, and I play soccer two days. 
antes de las clases era Monday en Saturday. Okay. Justo era las 8 de la noche. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now weekends you have to it only on Saturday. Okay, it's time. It's nine o'clock. Ajá, Carlos Pinto. What is your daily routine, Mr. Pinto? But we cannot hear you, Mr. Pinto. Hello, teacher. Now, yes, we can hear you. Okay, I did my daily routines alone. Okay, Again. what is your daily routine? Is is for my Monday. I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Wow, very early. I take my shower and I get my 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 dresses. I say goodbye to my wife. At five o'clock, I drive to my work, and I take my breath. I start to work at six o'clock in the morning. And I leave my work at four o'clock. Okay, so you work from six to four p.m. Okay, but what time do you get home after work? At four o'clock. You finish at four o'clock. What time four. do you get home? ¿A qué hora llega su casa? What time do you get home? I come to my home like five, five. Five p.m. Five p.m. Five p.m. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I'm going to. I'm sorry. No, excuse, excuse. What time is it? Time to take that attendance. Thank you, Alfredo. Yes, I almost forget it. <laughs> okay, so please say present or here, okay? And don't forget that it is important your attendance. So, Alexander Emmanuel. I see you there, but I don't hear you. Alexander Emanuel Presa. Hi, teacher. Sorry, que tenía una llamada. Okay. Carlos González. Carlos Jaime Pinto. Present. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Good. Edwin Elias Ramirez. Present teacher. Helson Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Hilman Alexander Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Hector Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Um, is Irving Osmi? Present teacher. Ismael Isaac. Juan Francisco López. Present teacher. Karen Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alonso Carrillo. Present teacher. Mr. Tejada Maldonado. I'm here. Okay. Metsi Damaris. Rosa Anabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Yanel Carrillo. Present teacher. Okay. Veronica Susana Romero. 
present teacher. Okay, Silvia, perdón, perdón. Eh, Jessica Marisol Villanta. Jessica. David Emanuel Hernández. And Laini Yusel Bautista. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. ¿Cómo se sintieron describiendo su daily routine? Talking about your daily routine. How did you feel? The time was. I'm sorry, Alfredo. The time for this activity was short. Oh, it was short. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it means that you wanted to talk more. <laughs> okay, would you like Alfredo to say your daily routine? Okay. What is your daily routine, Mr. Tejada? Get up. At 5.30. I wake, I, I wake up, yes. I wake up at 5.30. Yeah, I can see that you have problems with your internet. You <laughs> mm -hmm. We just, just wake up and get up. <laughs> Okay. Nice. I feel I feel my animals oh, at you... 6 a.m. Chickens and turkeys. Chicken, pork, turkey, ducks, dogs, cows, horses. <laughs> wow. A lot of animals. Yes, a lot of animals. It takes you like yeah. half an hour or an hour. Uh, like an hour. Like an hour, yes, to feed all the animals. Okay. Yes. I take a shower at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. or 7 a.m.? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I take my breakfast at 7.25 a.m. Mm hmm uh, I go to the I go to my work at seven forty p am. Okay, am. Driving in my motorcycle. Oh, nice! You drive your motorcycle to work. Yes, and I work from eight to five. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, so that was daily routines, okay? Now, guys, um, um, you will see here a conversation and later you will practice, okay? So this is between Janet and Cindy. Janet says, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy and on weekends, okay? So as you notice, 
they are not talking about Janet or Cindy. They are talking about a third person. Están hablando de una tercera persona. Who is the third person they are talking about? Kate. Katie, exactly, or Katie. And who is Katie? Who is she? What does she do? The new secretary. She's the new secretary, exactly. Is her special busy? Very busy. It is, right? It is very busy, okay? What does she do on Monday? She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. Exactly, and also she... Write reports. She writes reports. She writes reports about the production. About the production. Exactly, very good. So now, um, in the exercise three, you have to complete the chart with Cathy's information and also what other activities you think Katie does in the other days of the week. Because in the conversation, they only say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But complete with your ideas, she is a secretary. Complete with your ideas what she does on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Mm -hmm. Would you like to do it individually or in pairs? ¿Les gustaría trabajar individual in o en parejas? Individual. Mm -hmm. Individual. In pairs. In <laughs> pareja. In pairs, teacher. It's we, more funny. It's more fun. Okay. So if you work in pairs first, primero, practican la conversación tal como está aquí. Y luego, hacen el ejercicio. Okay? Ahí se ayudan unos con otros. Okay, because you need to develop fluency when you speak. The new secretary. The, the new secretary. Her um, her and Tully is very thin. On Monday, she's making Mary a phone call. 
I needed to write the report. A bomb is in production. Janet, ah, what's she doing? She doing she under the day. Cindy, oh, when is I chief him from a middle to he? The bookkeeper, I'm um, afraid that she arrogates mate. Janet, she is Lucy. I on weekend. Eso es lo que está ahí, Vero. Verónica. Sí, sí, te escucho. Ya, ya entendí. Ahí de, de la conversación que acabas de hacer, ahí vamos a ir sacando qué es lo que hace la Katy día con día, que le explica Cindy y la otra muchacha. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y este, y el cuadro lo tienes, el, el que, que pasó ahorita, ya no sé si lo ha mandado, porque yo solo estoy viéndolo en la, en la... Sí, pero el cuadro uh -huh. solo tiene Katy's Daily Routine y los, los lunes, de la, los días de la semana, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday y Friday. Entonces ahí de esa, de esa conversación vamos a ir sacando la rutina de la Katy. Por ejemplo, okay. en el dice en Monday logré escuchar yeah. que dice makes many. Um, um, Déjeme ver many. Sí, Monday, ajá. Make many phone call correcto ella atiende la llamada ok escribe no los, re los reportes ok ese es en el día eh, ese es el Monday. primer día o sea, Monday uh -huh. no me puedo los días de la semana ah. Monday es lunes lunes sí Okay, uh, Monday, she is making a uh, phone call to Larry. Okay, Mike. Pero aquí le dice Janet, and what does she do the other days? Le pregunta que qué hace los otros días, los otros días. Uh -huh. Y Cindy le dice el miércoles, ella son some emails. On the bookkeeper, no sé qué bookkeeper. Um, igual no sé qué es the bookkeeper. The bookkeeper. Pero es tú. Y, y, y Frida. Ah. Y el, Ajá, y el, y el viernes. Y el Frida. viernes ella. Ahora ya me llamo. Pero dice que el miércoles. Solo, se... solo menciona tres días. Ajá, solo, tres días. solo dice lunes, miércoles y viernes. Viernes. Ok, gracias, Verónica. Wow. Sí, eso solo, eso lo encontré ahí. Que no sé qué es eso de Bookkeeper. Me imagino que Ese, es algo. Te lo veo lo ahorita. Deletréamelo, por favor. Es... es book del libro, ¿va? Ajá. Book. I. Book. Sí, book. I, 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 P, I, R. Keeper. Keeper. Uh -huh. Book. Vaya, tengo. Vaya, ya puse book. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, pero, pero es una sola lleva, palabra. Sí, pero lleva keeper. Book keeper, creo que. K. Ajá, K. E, E, P, E, R. Sí, ya lo puse en Bookkeeper, pero no me lo da este traductor. En español no, me, no sé qué, no hay este Bookkeeper, lo tengo aquí, pero no me lo da. Bueno, compañera, entonces estamos ahí que estamos en el miércoles y dijimos que
Hello, Luis Alonso. Hello. Okay, and... did you complete the chart? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Did you practice the conversation already? We are working. In truth, day, we were practice. Yes, we were. What's more, what she does on Thursday? ¿Qué más hace la secretaria? Irving, ¿qué decías? No, no, eh, eh, um, algún... Clasificar documentación o agendar pendiente. Um, ok. How do you say? How do you say clasificar? Classificar, classify, and um, the other one, like agendar eh, reuniones, schedule meetings. Okay, schedule. Schedule, schedule meeting is for Friday. Okay, appointments. Schedule um. appointments with clients. Puede ser con clientes, por ejemplo. I sent uh, and, in, the, in the chat. Classify, schedule appointments with clients. Teacher, what means co custom, customer, customer? Customers, clientes. También, ¿verdad? Se puede decir. Uh -huh. Customers. Customer. Uh -huh. Yeah, clients or customers. Okay. Uh, on Friday, the last one. She arranged, arranged. Arranges. She arranged. 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 Arrange. It's, it's arrange, like organized. Okay. Arrange meetings. Mm -hmm. We finished. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Entonces no iría Saturday uh -huh. y Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, yes. She doesn't work on Saturday and Sunday. Entonces faltan, no faltan esa Secretaries, parte. the secretaries don't work on weekends. Uh -huh. Secretaries don't work on weekends, but you can, you can uh, maybe say other activities that she does. Maybe she goes to the gym. No, she goes that is to her privacy life. <laughs> Private <laughs> life. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but okay. So we are middlers. So most make us we are middler and we want to <laughs> we want to know what she does. Uh, okay, she visit her friend boyfriends. Oh her boyfriends. So she has more no, than one. Boyfriend. Oh boyfriend. her boyfriend. Only one. Only one. Yes, only one. <laughs> oh boyfriends. We don't know. Yeah, we good. Okay, so I would like a couple of volunteers to practice the conversation in front of the class. Two valientes, two brave students, two brave participants. Agir. Alfredo, okay, and? I am not a girl. 
A girl. Yes, a girl. Or two girls. <laughs> okay. So, Silvia and Rosy. Daniela, Daniela Ardón. Volunteers. Okay, yo. Okay, Elias. Good, Elias. Elias. Yeah, but Alfredo, Alfredo puede. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a, a decir la, la convers, conversación. A conversation, yes, between Janet and Cindy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are Janet and I am Cindy. <laughs> hey, qué malo. Well, bueno, I, voy a intentar. Sí. Yes, try it. You can do it. <laughs> Get. Yo, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Well, is who? Katy? Who is Katy? Who? Who? Who is Katy? Oh, Alfredo. <laughs> His internet connection. Yeah. Okay, ¿quién le quiere it's, ayudar? Es really the news site. Oh, okay. Monday. Oh, yeah. She makes. Continue, Alfredo. It's very loud. Okay. She makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do? The other day. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. 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 Mm -hmm. And on weekend. Mm -hmm. On weekend, she don't work. She doesn't work. She doesn't okay. work. Wow, these guys, um, they deserve applauses. Okay, applauses. Thank you so much for your participation in class. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, they deserve it. Thank you, Elias and Alfredo. Good, guys. So now, uh, let's talk about the simple present, but about the third person singular. Do you remember that yesterday I told you that the third person singular is special, is different? Do you remember what is the, the special characteristic? And you can see it here. What is the special characteristic? S in el verbo. Exactly, I'm, you I'm add S, S or ES or IES to the verb. It depends on the verb. Look at these examples. We have some examples over here. She makes many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers be on time. And my boss talks about the new rules. Si ven, solo habla de she, he, and it. ¿Verdad? Cindy is she. And my boss is he or she, I don't know. <laughs> and the negative statements, in negative is not don't. What is the auxiliary we use in negative? 
No es don't. What is it? Doesn't. 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 Verónica. Yes, doesn't. Sorry. Y el verbo doesn't. ya no lleva la S. Ya no la llevas. Cuando usamos el auxiliar, doesn't el, or, or does in questions, no usamos el verbo con la S. Ok, so the correct form is she doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. It doesn't help workers be on time. And my boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Okay? Is, hay algunas rules, hay algunas eh, reglas that we have to follow. There are some rules we have to follow. Okay, so some verbs ending in third person. You have to add, a la mayoría solo le vamos a agregar la S. Pero algunos le vamos a agregar ES. For example. Yes. Eh, ajá, pass, passes. He passes the exam. La otra sería walls. She waltzes. Otra sería wash, washes. Fix, fixes. Go, goes, right? Y luego tenemos que si termina el verbo en consonante plus Y, como study, we change the Y to I and add ES. For example, she studies. Or carry, carries. Pero en los demás solo le ponemos la S. Por ejemplo, plays, it plays. ¿Por qué no le ponemos eh, eh, IES a play? Porque no hay una consonante antes de la Y, antes de la Y, sino que hay una vocal. There is a vowel. In this case, we just add the S. ¿Ok? Ok, uh, y este tal vez está como mejor o más explicadito. With most verbs, we should add S. It, it. Play, plays. But if it ends in a consonant plus the Y, y ahí está la nota, ¿verdad? Not A, E, I, O, U. No con vocal, consonant only. You add I, E, S. For example, carry. Carries, fly, flies, ending in double S, X, O, S, H, or C, H, U, R, E, S. Kiss, kisses, fax, faxes, wash, washes, teach, teaches. Mm -hmm. This, is, this is the third person singular. Veamos. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio en línea. Les voy a enviar el, el link. I'm going to send you the link. And you have to do it, ¿ok? Third person singular. Vamos a practicar esto justo ahorita que les acabo de explicar. ¿Qué van a hacer? Agregar que... I S O S. Okay, add S, E S, or I E S to the verb to make it third person singular. Okay. This only happens in simple present. Solo pasa en el presente simple. No lo van a hacer en el pasado ni en el futuro. Solo en el present simple. Okay. Entonces, let's do the exercise about the third person singular forms. Ok, 
Can you see my screen? Ya están todos en el enlace. Are you in the link? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, so write the third person singular of the following verbs. We have, for example, feed the dog. ¿Cómo sería? Feed. Feed. The dog. the dog. Feed the dog. Feed. Watch TV. Watches. Watches TV. Okay. And you continue. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, and prayer is finished. <laughs> it's a little bit long, but it's a good exercise. 
Solo hay una excepción. Está en los últimos. En los últimos les voy a enseñar eso. Casi en los últimos tenemos el verbo have. El verbo have is an exception because the third person singular form of have is has. Entonces, por ejemplo, decimos en primera persona o, o segunda persona, I have a dog, you have a dog, pero decimos he, she, or it has. En este caso, el ejemplo es he has two dogs. Entonces ahí en el ejercicio hay uno, hay un ejercicio que es de los últimos. Had is for passed. Perdón. Sorry. Had, had es para pasado. Con la D, sí, had. Pero en simple present, has. Okay. Ahí en donde dice have a car, ustedes van a poner has a car. ¿Sí? ¿Ya están por terminar? Aquí está, has a car. Okay, can you repeat after me, please? Fits the dog. Fits the dog. Watches TV. Watches TV. Drinks. Drinks. Crosses the road. Wash it. Cross the road. Goes TV. out. Goes out. Misses. Misses. Plays video games. Plays video games. Studies. Studies. Cries. 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 Ok. Kisses. 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 <laughs> Finishes the homework. Finishes. Ay, miren, ahí se me fueron dos. Eh. Flies a hand glider. Flies a hand glider. Does the homework. Does the homework. The homework. Fixes a bike. Fixes bike. Vice. Vice. Mixes. Mixes. Laughs. 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 Has a car. Get. And gets dressed. Gets dressed. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, good. Como era el good teacher? Go out. I'm sorry, Alexander. En el de go out me salió mal. Entonces quiero ver cómo, cómo, era, cómo lo tienes. Goes. Goes. Así es. Pero sí lo escribí. Uh, goes out. Es que el verbo es goes out. Salir afuera, salir. Out. Goes out. You are missing the out. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver esto. Feed. Ok. Uh 
Mr. Pinto feeds, watches, drinks, crosses, washes, goes out. Es que go out va junto. Mrs. Plays, Esta studies, cries, kisses, finishes, flies, does, fixes, buys. Solo le agrega la S, no le pone ES. Mixes, es mix y solo ES. Laughs, solo le agrega la S. Haves, es lo que les decía que, que es diferente, es irregular, es has. Y en gets dressed. Ok, ahí pueden comparar con mi ejercicio. Ok. It's 9.47, can you imagine, guys? <laughs> it's almost time. So, um, when you finish, you send your uh, screenshot, okay? And here, over here, well, I think this is important. Maybe you can copy this important note about the use of has. Maybe you can take some notes. Vaya, Gerson. <laughs> Vaya, les voy a poner aquí el, 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 de nuevo el ejercicio para que vean cómo sería. Comparen y vean en lo que se equivocaron. No se preocupen que estamos aprendiendo y para eso el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Cuando aprendimos a andar en bicicleta, si es que aprendí, si es que pueden, ¿verdad? No fue a la primera, ¿verdad? Sino que se tuvo que, que practicar muchas veces. O igual para aprender a manejar, ¿ok? So, feeds the dog, watches TV, drinks, crosses the road, washes. Goes out, miss, plays video games, studies, cries, kisses. Y miren qué feliz está el muchacho. Finishes the homework, finishes. Flies a hang glider, does the homework. Fixes a bike, buys. Bye. Acuérdense, si hay una vocal antes de la Y, solo le agregamos la S. Mixes, como termina en X, le ponemos IS. Las termina en H, es un, no, solo, solo tenemos que agregar la S. El have, les dije que cambia a has, ¿verdad? Es irregular, cambia a has, a car. En gets, solo le ponemos la S, gets dressed. Uh -huh. Okay. Any questions? Do you have any questions? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Por, um, perdón si lo dijo y no lo escuché. Pero, ¿por qué dijo que cambiaba, si iba una Y, cambiaba por I? Digamos, yeah. en cry. Uh -huh. Porque hay una consonante antes de la Y, es la R, consonant R. Mm. Entonces, hay una consonante... Si hay una consonante, entonces... Eh, sí cambia pero si no hay una consonante sino que hay una vocal entonces no por eso en play como hay una vocal antes la A, play no cambia, solo le ponemos la S 
Pero si cambia en study, porque hay una D, the consonant D. DY, study, studies. Uh -huh. uh, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Y ahí está, ¿verdad? En la presentación que les voy a enviar luego, ahí pueden ver el, en la explicación, en the explanation, you can see the rules. Ending in a consonant plus Y, I, E, S. Carry, carries, fly, flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now here, complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. Este ejercicio lo encuentran en su manual, it is in your handbook. It's very easy. For example, in this case, he, ¿Cómo sería? He, ordered. Exactly. He orders. Or. Order, he orders everything in the office. Okay, number two. Amy and Teresa. Uh, asks. Uh -huh. ask. Asks. Ask. Ah, no, perdón. Ask. Amy and Teresa ask. Porque son dos, ¿verdad? Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Every. Ellas piden las firmas todos los... Every Friday, every Friday, I'm sorry. Ya no veo. <laughs> okay, now the negative form. Helen. Sería Helen doesn't... 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 Call. Doesn't call, okay. Oh. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Doesn't call, okay? Is the negative form of the third person singular. She clean. She cleans, exactly. She cleans. I I write. I write at least with the things I need at 9 a.m. And Mario. Does keep. Mario doesn't. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Okay, Mario doesn't keep a record of mer merchandise. He, of the merchandise he buys. Bice. Sí, uh -huh. uh -huh. Exactly. Ok. Remember, we only add the yes if it's he, she, or it. Ok, guys, it's 9.55. And we didn't finish the, we didn't do this activity of the conversation, but uh, we are going to do it tomorrow, okay? This exercise, se los voy a dejar de tarea, porque no. Oh my God. Solo tienen que agregar la S o la ES, ¿verdad? <laughs> Okay, so tell me, what did you learn today, guys? Hoy estuvieron bien calladitos, bien así, ¿verdad? <laughs> Quizás no tomaron café, maybe you didn't drink coffee. <laughs> so what did you learn today, guys? Tell me. Vine tarde del trabajo. Oh, you came late from work. So what did, did you learn? learn? Oh, Daily you... Routine. Okay, vaya, pero díganlo así, mire. I learned to say my daily routine. I learned to say my daily routine. Excellent! That was great. <laughs> okay, what else? Yes. ¿Qué más? Mm -hmm. I learned the third person. 
Okay, you learn about the third person singular. In, uh -huh. simple. In simple present. For example, uh, uh, make makes. I make she makes. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, do you remember that I asked you to memorize five verbs? I carry, she carries. Mm -hmm. It's correct, Alfredo. Can you repeat? It's correct. I asked you to memorize five verbs for today. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Uh, yes. Okay, Carlos Pinto, would you like to tell the class your five verbs? I learned five verbs like spell, walk, make, send, and start. Congratulations. Okay, another I, person. I learn I learned feed. Feed, okay, Alfredo. Uh -huh. Y los cinco verbos que se tenían que memorizar. I forgot. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Daniela. Let's see, Daniela. Cook, cook, um, eat, drink, and jump. Okay, thank you, Daniela. Five verbs, five verbs. Um, let me see. Luis, Luis Alonso. Five verbs. Teacher. Ok, Verónica se voluntaria. Sí. <ríe> se salvó Luis por Verónica. <ríe> ok, este, Vero. Kiss, dream, dance, walk, room. Oh, pero ¿sabe qué, Verónica? Tenía que encender su cámara y cerrar los ojos y decirlas en inglés. <ríe> Recuerda lo que les dije ayer. <laughs> no, está bien, Verónica. Thank you so much, Verónica, and everybody. So I'm going to take the attendance then. Tomorrow, you have to tell me your verbs, okay? Y para mañana me lo van a decir. And yes. base form and third person form. Así que si no lo dijo hoy, I'm sorry, but tomorrow, it's going to be a double... Great. Challenge, double challenge. Okay. Okay, Alexander Emanuel Presa Rodriguez. Ten, teacher. Okay, Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Present. Daniela Elizabeth. Present, teacher. And, okay, Edwin Elias Ramirez. Present teacher. Gerson Otoniel Tobar. Present teacher. Okay, Gilmar Alexander Alvarado. Present teacher. Héctor Alfredo Marroquín. Héctor. Present teacher. Okay, Irving Osmin. Present teacher. Oh, Irving, I think you have to stay, right? Today. After the class, 10 minutes. Ismael Isaac Aguilar. Juan Francisco Lopez Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Michelle Ayala. Present teacher. Luis Alonso Carrillo. Present teacher. Mario Alfredo Tejada. Met. Present. Okay. Metsi, Damari. 
Rosa Anabel Chávez. Present teacher. Silvia Carrillo. Verónica Romero. Silvia. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Verónica. Present teacher. Ok, Jessica Marisol. Present teacher. Ok, David Hernández. Ok, thank you so much, guys. Present for... teacher. Ok, David. <laughs> Okay, what's well, a pleasure. Tomorrow we're going to have an important class because you're going to learn about just no questions with the simple present. So please be here on time, okay? And it being us mean, it's your opportunity to say 10 minutes. I'm all yours. The others, sweet dreams. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. 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 Okay, Irving, Osmin. Uh, hello, me. How are you? <laughs> Elias, you cannot. No se puede conectar, que estás. Maybe you cannot log out. <laughs> um, okay, Irving. So, so. So, so, why? Eh, Señor, sí, una pregunta. Eh, con respecto al horario de después de las dos horas de clase, los diez minutos extra. Ajá. Um, el de esta semana ya estaba agendado. Eh, sí. Sí, no le tocaba a usted. No sé. A mí me tocó el viernes de la semana pasada. Es cierto. ¿Y a quién le tocaba? Pues, a Is Es cierto. Ayer le tocaba a Ismael. E Ismael ayer me dijo que no podía. Entonces, fue Francisco. Yo me equivoqué. <ríe> Vaya, Irvin. Sí, no se preocupe. Entonces, si tiene que irse, no hay problema. No hay problema. O si quiere aprovechar los minutos, está bien. Pero si no, no está obligado porque usted ya tuvo su sesión. Eh, ok. Eh, si quiere le podría decir los verbos de los verbos que pide a los cinco. Verbos. Ok, the five verbs. Good. Vaya, lo, se lo voy a decir con la cámara encendida. Eh, so, <ríe> with your Tenía... eyes closed. Ah, vaya. Sería take, write, catch, feel, eat. Excellent. Okay, and now a challenge for you. Can you make those verbs in the third person? Eh, los verbos en tercera persona. Ajá, esos mismos, pero en tercera persona. Eh, sería con agregándole es o. Y es, ¿verdad? Or only yes. Uh -huh. vale, sería takes, eh, what, catches, eh, eat, feels, feels, oh, feel, feel. feels, y write. Right. Excellent, Irvi. You see, you can do it. <laughs> okay, Irvi, yeah, it was my mistake. It was Ismael Isaac, the one. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, Miss, este, yo quería disculparme ayer porque no pude estar en clase atenta por el hecho de que estaba en el trabajo todavía. Sí, entonces yo me confundí con usted, creí que, que, que usted, usted me escribió eso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y me confundí con Ismael por esa razón, but don't worry. Ok, pero no tiene duda con respecto a lo que se vio ayer en clase. 
Eh, medio, medio, porque como este, no estuve, o sea, estuve poniendo atención, pero no, no en su totalidad por el hecho de que estaba como en reunión. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, me, me uh -huh. Vaya, por ejemplo... Porque me podría dar una retroalimentación. Sí, claro, con gusto. Lo que estuvimos viendo ayer es prácticamente parecido a lo que vimos ahora, pero ayer nos enfocamos en los, eh, eh, ahora nos enfocamos, mejor dicho, en la tercera persona, he, she, and it. But yesterday, uh, por ejemplo, les puse un ejercicio de conjugar un verbo. Vamos a ver cómo lo haría usted. Les voy a poner aquí, un, un, voy a poner aquí un ejemplo. Okay. Vaya, dígame un verbo usted. Just give me one verb. Eh... Lo, ¿Lo puedo conjugar en presente, pasado y futuro? No, no, lo vamos a hacer solo en el presente, pero con todos los subjects. Todos los subjects ah. pronouns. Cualquier verbo, any verb. It. Ok, it. Va, entonces los subjects I, you, he, she, it, we, You and they. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? I. I eat. Uh -huh. You. You eat. Uh -huh. He. He eat. She eat. Eats. Ok. Eat. Huh? He eats. He eats. Uh -huh. She eats. She it tiene que tiene que pronunciar más la s she eats it 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 ajá we we eat we eat you you eat ajá y they eat And they eat. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, mi sería de que cuando solo es lo que es I, you, um, and you, y they sería eh, it. Y cuando es you, it, we, y they, um, sería con S, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Con S solo es he, she, and it. Ah, ok. Solo estos tres. Mire, he, she, and it. Es tercera persona, singular. Ajá. Esos son los únicos que van a cambiar. Que le tenemos que agregar la S o dependiendo del, de la, del spelling of the verb, ES o IES. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, solo he, she, and it. Bye. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces solo eso es como lo resumiendo lo que vieron ayer. Sí, ajá, y lo hicimos oh. con otros verbos. Ah, y en, y en la forma negativa usamos I don't. I don't. I don't eat. Sería, ¿verdad? Solo se le agrega el don't. Ajá, en el caso de, de en el caso de la tercera persona no es don't, sino das. Doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't eat. Okay. Y el verbo no lleva la S. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, en, en primera persona sería I don't. Eh, en tercera persona, eh, doesn't. Y sin la S. Exactly. Ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces, ahí sí. Hoy sí me quedó, me quedó claro. Qué bueno, Irving. I'm so happy for Gracias. that. Uh -huh. eh, thank you, Miss. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Ah. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Good night.
Just the way you are. Uh -huh. And when you 